Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you some facts and figures uh, regarding AdSense and YouTube income. And when YouTube bought, uh, bought in their new algorithm back in 2017, just to show you how things have changed on my channel. So, as you maybe were, YouTube brought in much more stricter regulation on how they monetize people's content and things like that back in 2017. And that has affected thousands and thousands of content creators, you know, from the smallest to the largest content creators, YouTubers. Some cases, some of these people have must have ha lost millions and millions of pounds and dollars in revenue because they have cracked down big time. So in this small channel of mine, which is in the Indian cooking niche, as you can see, right, I have uh, this channel is going for about four to five years now almost. Now I have just as you can see, 3.3 million, 300,000 views, almost 14,426 as well time of recording this video, which is today being the 14th of October, 2018, right? Now I'm going to show you how things have really uh, changed since 2017 or 2000, just when they introduced their new YouTube introduced their new tactics okay right um, so let's go and show you a few facts and figures Now, before the the new introduction, uh, this channel used to uh, bring me roughly about sixty to seventy pounds in uh, revenue monthly. So, which, in case is um, it doesn't come across a lot of money, but uh, believe it or not, sixty seventy pounds is is. Uh, a relatively large amount of money you can still pay for your mobile bill uh, or you can go out and have them um, once a month you can treat yourself to a restaurant for that kind of money right so let me go back and show you how the the income has dropped and what I am doing to rectify the situation right so we're gonna dive in and show you all the figures now now here we are on the uh, on the report side of things from this report is from January the 1st 2018 to 30th September 2018 18 which is about nine months okay so this is the total amount I earned in nine months okay so if we look at it I had hundred and ninety five thousand page views page view basically means when somebody enter your YouTube channel and he clicks a, a video that's the page view. Impression is when advertisers are putting ads on your YouTube videos. That's an impression. Is how many times the advertiser are serving ad on your video when the ad appears on your video. And so I have a uh, 7507 clicks and this is where 
here page rpm rpm basically means run per mile or mil m i l e run per mil so what does that mean that means youtube is paying me 0 0.48 so which is 48 pence per thousand page view this is here that's how much they pay me they're paying that amount a thousand page view at 48 pence per thousand and that will give you 93 pound and 52 pence that's a total income for the last nine months okay so and a similar thing here if you look at the impression the ad here 76,677 and the same thing here impression per pay rpm which again means the same thing run per mile or mill right here they're paying me one pound 22 per thousand impression on the advertising side of things right so seven thousand if you if you tie if you div times that by 1.22 1 pound 22 and that will give you 93 pound 52 all right so the 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 only way to increase your rpm is depend on the niche you're in this is a relatively a, a cooking niche doesn't attract a lot of advertisers it, uh, and the advertising that price don't pay much high for advertising on those channels okay so that's a, one factor if this channel was slightly different you know talking about money how to make money anything to do with high-ranking keywords into med medical medical such a situation insurance car this sort of stuff then obviously uh, you will see here the impression will be slightly different because there will be high advertisers looking for that kind of stuff okay so the higher your rpm the more money you make basically simple as that okay but so looking at this 93 pound 52 now we want to know why did our my income dropped when they started the the algorithm back in 2017 and the simple reason i come across is that i stopped uh, putting up videos for a while right and uh, their algorithm kicked in and that's when things started to go a bit downhill okay so what did i do to improve it now i'm going to show you i'm going to get an excel sheet here and i'll show you how the income has dropped right starting on january 2018 page view was only 142 i had impression 32 only four clicks how much money did i earn only nine pence as you can see it's only nine pence here February, page view, uh, 1,066, 29 impression, 29 clicks, I earn 28 pence. That's a 28 pence per month I'm talking about. This is per month. This is month of February. Month of March 2018, as you can see, 13, 12, um, 412, 46 clicks, 40 pence in that month. Right. Month of April. As you can see, 30 pence I on that month, okay? Clicks, 17, blah, blah, blah. Right, so let's move up slowly and move up a bit more. Um, March, April, 17 clicks, 30 pence. So there was something happening in, with that, within that period. Now, as you can see, May again, page view, 
you got your impression you got clicks and 46 pence that month and came june i don't even know what the hell happened here suddenly okay can you see the page view has jumped from 803 to 28,000 look 28,000 just jumped up suddenly from nowhere to 28,549 and then impression jumped up from two look you see the previous month it was 270 jumped to 12,000 look somewhere click just went ballistic from 38 to 1580 so June month I earned 17 pound and 52p come July it went up a bit more look the page we went to 57,000 and impression went to 19,000 clicks went to 2,000 and earning went to 19 pound right come come August it dropped a bit can you imagine page view dropped a bit again um, impression a bit up clicks through sorry not click the yeah clicks advertising click has dropped a bit but I am 22 pound because they may be serving a quite high at there September month this last month of 2000 now I'm in October 2018 so last month I had 53,000 almost 54,000 54,000 55,000 60,000 is normal for my channel over the years okay now impression 23,856 uh, 1,981 clicks and revenue has gone up to 32 pound 80 right so as I showed you um, let's go back to this page here I showed you in that impression here 93 pound and 52 okay right so if I were to go back to my Excel sheet there we are that is the income for the last nine months 93 pound and 52 P okay so as I showed you 195,274 right so here we are if I go back to this page 195,272 per page impression okay so as you can see I bring the Excel up again right so there we go so you see how things have changed now it slowly slowly has started to pick up i don't even know what happened in that period of that last couple of months say so one two three yeah almost five months uh it was like I don't even know what the hell really what's happening with that channel in that five months as you can see I don't even know what happened there up to June 2018 said relatively nothing total as if the channel disappeared somehow and suddenly from June he started fluctuating again going back to his normal speed right so what did I do to what I'm doing now I just realized this metrics recently I was looking through it I said what is happening here and now I realized that I needed to boost uh, much more content look at what I'm doing and improve my um, retention the viewership the whole lot so basically what I've done I have given a MOT check to the whole channel overload you know looked around what is the problem what can I do to solve it and now I've come to this inclusion I need to improve so many so what I've done to improve the advertising and also um, these I have uh, roughly about in my channel I go back to the channel about 250 videos and out of those videos only about 10 of them 10 to 15 videos has more than 10 minutes so that is a mistake first of all if any creator try to make longer videos longer videos you have a longer 
retention retaining viewers and you can put a lot of more ads space so that was my mistake so I realized that and another thing I've done is I started putting before used to uh, used to put annotation now you don't have annotation you have uh, every video comes with um, let me go to one of my videos and let me just shut it up okay every of them comes with end cards and end annotation and all. basically so let's skip that for a second now as you can see if you, when you go to your longer videos you get now in this video uh, it's more than 10 minutes so you get a couple of ad appears uh, and and this was like crucial every content provider or everyone of the YouTube channel must think about putting uh, this is crucial for the advertisers sorry uh, the channel to put up as you can see here end screen annotation is so crucial for suggested videos is absolutely crucial for everyone who provides gives you end screen so that that's one thing you always got to look at it when you're doing um, the channels whatever and screen you got to make sure you put and screen annotation because if you don't put it you are losing out basically you are losing out because the more retention you keep your lab uh, here we are uh, let's get this sorted like see that both of them and, and annotation sorry my screen is such a large I can't there down there down there they're suggesting one video and on the right hand side suggesting another videos up there so that is crucial for for you to put that in in your video so that way you retain more customer uh, viewers into your video you have to do that and make sure you have a longer videos and um, the more longer video you have the more chances of you advertising making more money right okay now if we look at last three months which is 90 days yeah as you can see the watch time was down 2912 17 so 2917 hours of watch time right and views was 106,000 views and you know the likes and dislikes I don't want to go into this okay so and the the minute watch time with retention time right people coming into watching your videos on average it was for one one minute and 38 seconds which was slightly up so that was a good good indication right so if we go back and do this let's let's have a look at go down a bit if we do last month which is September 2018 and if we look at that look like September 2018 okay so you see the watch hours has gone up 1014 hours of watch time that month okay and watch time the minutes on average is gone up slightly up by two minutes or something yeah 38 1 minute 40 seconds okay so and the views also has gone up that month okay so everything dislike is gone up likes gone up so don't worry about all that uh, and if we look at this month for example uh, of this month in October 2018 we're gonna have a look at this okay again uh, watch time is going up um, views gone down a bit but if you look at the average minute watch time is gone up so in your channel the only thing you should be concerned about and looking at it don't worry about the views uh, you have to worry about nowadays is the watch time and your retention how long is the people coming in and staying you watching your videos okay now I do have other channels whereas retention time is far far greater now but those channels I cannot monetize I there's no way I can 
I won't be able to monetize it because I do not come under YouTube new regulation of 4,000 hours and 1,000 subs. Okay, so I'm working on those channels. Okay, but as you can see, well, now this is so important to have end screen. You should put card annotation is so important. Keeping people on your uh, on your um, channel is so so important. Um, and that's how YouTube are paying people now. They do not care about how many subs you have or how many um, likes or dislikes. That's not going to make any difference. The only thing that makes different to YouTube nowadays is how long they come in into your channel and and staying over. Now, here's a fact. This month, on average, 1 minute and 51 second duration. Uh, percentage of viewed is 39 percent so these kind of figures you got to look at and then see where your channel going ahead in it's so so crucial to look at those figures and and try to improve what is going wrong what is happening you look at look at your videos and as you can see these are some of my videos uh, keeping people in watch time hours it gives you hours it gives you duration how long per video they're watching it so everything's there so when you when you're a creator spend some time going through your channel and look where you're going wrong what you can improve so what i've done recently with this channel okay so i started putting more content in there so always go and look at all this, uh, analyze your data. It's so important that you should analyze your data. Sometimes spend some time, see what you're going wrong. You know, sometimes you look at, you go to your channel and look at your old videos and try to improve it by changing the title, change the keyword. Sometimes a keyword makes all the difference. A keyword brings in the advertisers, you know, and that's how it works. Look, if I go to ad rate, for example, look, now here, as you can see, uh, that gives me um, this is how much I'm getting per four thousand. Look, Co CPM cost per mills, cost per mill mile, cost per thousand um, clicks. That's how much they pay me. So, if your rate is higher, these two numbers are higher. Let me show you that. Let's get them in there. there. There we are. If if these two numbers are higher, instead of £2.88, if you had that £5.88, £10.88, or whatever it is, nine, six, seven quid, can you imagine your income will be much more than this here? For this month, they predicting my income will be £49.06p. Okay? This is, sorry, that was last month. Uh, yeah, from 14th of September to 11th of October. So this month, that's what they predict, predict to 49. And they're not going to pay you 49, whatever it is. They will, eBay, sorry, YouTube will take their cuts before they pay you all the fees after that, okay? So that's important. If, if I were to log into a different, an account that I cannot uh, yet monetize, we am still under the limitation. If I go to that channel, for example, I'll show you. And if I can get some figures now, I see they're not going to allow me to do that. But I can always go and look at the lifetime. Okay, let's go to lifetime before they started this band. See how much they were preferred to pay me on that one. Look, right. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the proof of the pudding. Okay. Now, take a look at this. That is one of my channel. What to sell on eBay. Okay. Now, before YouTube brought in their uh, the restriction and tightness, right? Uh, any willingly you could uh, literally monetize your channel all right now this channel talks about mainly second hand you know buying and selling on eBay right look at uh, look at what they would have paid me nine pound and 14 pence and seven pound and 70 whereas two pound 88 I think the other channel and three pound 12 or 11 pence look at the difference 
here. Nine pound fourteen and seven pound seventy one. Think about it for a second. So whenever you start doing a YouTube channel, make sure you find the right niche, a niche that pays well, a niche you can monetize properly, earn a bit of bit of money for yourself, for your hard work. Okay. No, don't get into a niche where it's pennies. So once again, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please, please make sure you like, subscribe and comment button. And help me out on this channel to get over the thousand pound, thousand subscriber. Um, presently, I have 150 subscribers on this channel. And I regularly hold, uh, every month I hold uh, a raffle. Check out other things. Enter my raffle to win prizes, okay? So this is where you have to aim. Aim for a channel that pays well. Start making some decent long videos. And where you go. Once again, thank you so much.